Hi everyone, today I'm at Castle Laker. We have a lovely sunny-ish or spring day really and I, because of lockdown restrictions, oh. I thought, oh hello dog, I thought I'd go out and visit Castle Acre, which is about 30 minutes drive away for me to go and have an enjoyable bit of a day out. Just driving through some quaint villages at the moment, all mishmash of old buildings, new buildings, renovated buildings. But the weather is, well it started off lovely and sunny and it's now clouded over so we'll see how long my, my uh, little trip lasts. All these flint walls everywhere. So old and quaint. Typical roadworks, middle of nowhere, and no one's working on them. Ridiculous. We are just on the outskirts of Thetford Forest, and there is a memorial thingy um, that I want to show you. We'll stop off there once we get there. But what I keep seeing are some glorious, there's one just coming up now, oh, and again, some glorious blossom trees. They're everywhere. Really, really pretty. If you find yourself in West Norfolk and you're near Swaffer, Mumford Way, and there's a road between them. Um, you will then find this war memorial, which we're going to, and it's just up here. And here it is. Nice part of the uh, forest, but right next to a main road. So it's strange to have a memorial there, but let's go and have a look. Hey, that's it. Telling you about the desert rats. And they are all to do with the uh, tank. <laughs> I'll just wait for him to um, sort himself out. <laughs> So we have a tank in the middle of a forest and you think why on earth? Well it's a memorial because the desert rats stayed here for a few months. Um, uh, they were stationed here uh, in I think 
uh, it was 1944, uh, prior to them being part of the invasion of Normandy. And so as a memorial and a kind of a thank you, they've then put this up with the Desert Rat uh, tank. Well, no, sorry, it is a um, Cromwell, Cromwell tank. <laughs> Had to think, had to think, but it's a Cromwell tank. So that was that was used um, as part of the invasion. And so that's why we have a tank in the middle of Norfolk, in the middle of a forest, just in the middle of nowhere, really. So, but it's, it's nice. <laughs> it's got the, um, a label here saying about the Cromwell tank. So if I had to come round here, I would have remembered it eventually. So yeah, let me have a look at that. Oh. Oh. But I do know that this is not the only tank in Norfolk. I do know that um, the, along the North Norfolk coast, there is another um, museum which has got a whole load of military um, uh, tanks and vehicles and stuff like that. Because um, I've driven past it and I've seen, seen certain things out, out on display, but I don't think it's open at the moment because, of course, it's not a museum which has got closed things due to lockdown. So, but yeah, just thought I'd show you this on my way up to the, up to the castle. Anyway. Let's get to the castle now. I've always wanted to look at that. Nice to do. then onto the castle. Doesn't look like the picture now. Things have changed a bit, but I've uh, realized that I'm gonna be walking on grass. So I need to change my shoes because uh, the heels I'm in will just sink into the ground. And I've checked in my boot of the car and I actually got some boots. So I just need to change into those. Now I'm changing into my boots. While I remember with heels is when you're walking on gravel or grass, you ruin your heels. And that's what's happened with these. And that's what I don't like doing. So that's why I'm changing into my boots. So a bit more sturdy on my feet as well. It's quite exciting, you can see some of the ruins. Ooh. Moat. bigger than I expected. Can't believe this. I have been here before but I don't remember it as being as, hold on, the word is undulating I think it is. So many ups and downs and hills and stuff and that's why it's called the Mighty Castle Defence. <laughs> oh, uh, great earthworks of Castle Acre. There is a priory here as well, uh, but I'm not going to visit that. 
and most impressive of the country and powerful for medieval forces and it was formed in 12th century so yeah wow Ooh. my legs have gone I'm not good at when there's a sheer drop my legs go a bit jellyfied steps to do in one go and a deep one. Oh wow so this is an inner kind of I don't know an inner barrier Bailey well no because I'm this is going to the bailey. There's two baileys. So there's an outer, which is very square. Oh, I don't know what this is. East gate. So this would have been a gateway. So then you've got the square, very square, which I'll be going to, um, outer bailey. And then the high part, which is circular, which is the inner bailey. So that's more um, fortified. There you are. This is huge. Oh, rough ground. Well, this is the bailey and you can see how big it is and vast, but you've also got, you can see the, the ruined wall down at the bottom, which has got a, a old door, well, door frame uh, area in it. And then over there will be the, well, that was the east gate. So that'll be the west gate. If I get my north, south, east and west right, so yeah, and then we've got I put a nice bridge in, which goes into the lot, which is the most secure area of the castle. So I think I'll possibly go and have a look at that. But yeah, there's some earthworks there as well. You can see how it all undulates and everything over over there. But really nice. This is so cool. I am now in, says the sign, Upper Walled Gatehouse. So That is such a commanding view. <laughs> Look at the thickness of these walls. This used to be an 11th century country house before it was fortified. And <laughs> well, 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 they have a well. I won't look down there. Wow, this is so hard to imagine as a keep. It's just one big room. It's just one big room. But the, wall, the walls, look at this. They're all made up of flint. This is what I like about this area. So many of the walls have been made up of flint stones. And then when, of course, when you break them, then you get this lovely color in the, in the stone itself. But I don't get, uh, right, look at this. I know what these are for, these holes. You've got another one there. They were putting posts in, so then and they would have gone across the um, 
floor joists. Oh yeah, floor joists. Thank you, Mr. Cameraman. They would have been floor joists. So then you would have had a lever of hall um, of the floor. But you've also got them down here as well. So does that mean that this was this is a false floor? So it's been put in for us. So it's more solid, or because the otherwise you would have been up here, and then it's a false floor. I don't know. Send me your answers. <laughs> yeah, I've got more of them here as well. Don't know, don't know. got to be a commanding view up there but you're at least another 40 feet above me so I'm I'm not good with heights so I'm not going to be going up there to join you but <laughs> what I will say is um, I need to explore a bit more around here so I'm going to sign off and say this is Curvy Claire news at 10 at Castle Acre